this is Mohammed Osman, Assistant Professor of um, Internal Medicine with the Division of Gastroenterology at Texas, Texas Tech University in El Paso. We have this interesting case of pancreatic cyst. And as we see here in this picture, this cyst was in the pancreas and it was large enough. It was around 2.5 centimeter in size. Here's the needle coming out. And we're going to put the needle inside the cyst. You can see this line there. This is the needle. And the next step will be to take a sample from the cyst. We were able to get a sample from the cyst. Uh, the cyst content and send it for pathology to look for malignant cells. And indeed, we found that the cyst has a mild grade or what we call it low grade of dysplasia. This term means that the cyst was harboring cells that's not normal and it was in its way to become cancer if we left it later on. The patient will need close follow-up. She might need surgical consultation, but we wouldn't know that without taking the sample from the cyst. Now, pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadly cancers and once we diagnose it, it's often too late. Okay, that's very good. Given how large the cyst is, we're going to take another sample from it. What we used was endoscopic ultrasound, which enabled us to get an early diagnosis of low-grade dysplasia before even it becomes cancer and prevent cysts like that from becoming cancer. Right now, uh, University Medical Center is the only hospital that can offer this test and also can offer all that cytological assessment and examination associated with the cyst. This technology is less invasive than what you used to do before because before you would do an open surgery or laparoscopy and sometimes you would do a CT guided uh, biopsy from the skin and it is very hard to reach the pancreas from the skin and this was really cumbersome and this patient sometimes we would pass without being diagnosed till they have become having cancer. What we are using in endoscopic ultrasound is the natural axis. We go through the mouse to the stomach and the wall of the stomach or the wall of the small intestine is just adjacent and next to the pancreas. And utilizing this advantage, we put our ultrasound endoscope again in the wall of the stomach just next to the pancreas as we see here. And within half centimeter, your needle is in the pancreas and you are able to get sample in a very uh, minimal invasive way. This is not the only indication for endoscopic ultrasound. Endoscopic ultrasound is also used accurately for diagnosis of esophageal cancer, uh, stomach cancers, colon cancers. It's also used to diagnose what we call submucosal lesion. When your gastroenterologist do endoscopy and found that you have this bulge in the stomach and we don't know exactly what is it, by ultrasound we can see where it is originating from and what it looks like and we can also take biopsy from it. This procedure is fairly new to El Paso. Before I came here, um, actually the patient used to be referred to May Clinic uh, in uh, Phoenix or they used to go to um, uh, Albuquerque or San Antonio. We're very glad that we are able to provide the service now at University Medical Center and we're able uh, to recruit all this patient instead of them going uh, hundreds of miles away. They can have this uh, test done here in El Paso uh, by very well trained physicians. First of all, imagine if you need to have this test done, you have to go with your family to another city for a weekend or for three, four days off from where you work and also you take one person of your family off from his work too and then there is no continuity of care because once the patient got diagnosed he will come back here you know to his doctor right now what we're offering is multidisciplinary approach at University Medical Center in the same city you will come here in the same day you will have your ultrasound you will go home also if you need surgical intervention we consult our surgical college in the same day they meet you after the procedure and they set up appointment with you and this what we are looking for is multidisciplinary approach for our patients here in El Paso.